this be a lesson for all of you parents out there. If any of you want your children to grow up a little bit faster, well, just put them in an internment camp for a little bit. See what happens. Empire of the Sun, released in 1987, and is directed by Steven Spielberg, who's directed some, you know, just, just some great stuff over the past couple of years. You got Jaws, Indiana Jones, I'm, I'll throw Lincoln in there too, just so many great things. And this film stars a very young and a very talented Christian Bale, John Malkovich, Miranda Richardson, and Nigel Havers. Christian Bale plays Jamie Graham, who is an upper middle class school boy enjoying, enjoying a very privileged life in Shanghai. However, after the attack of Pearl Harbor during World War II, the Japanese begin to occupy settlements in China. Jamie gets separated from his family and now has to figure out how to survive during this time of war. And this is the first time that I have viewed Empire of the Sun. I have actually actually heard many recommendations about this movie over many, many years, talking about how it's one of Spielberg's early war films before he did things like Saving Private Ryan, and it's also one of Christian Bale- it is Christian Bale's very first theatrical movie that he was in. And if that's the case, damn it. That guy is talented. If I was an adult actor back in 1987 and I watched this movie, I, I would- I feel that I would just go, god damn it. This kid is freaking talented, and I've spent all this money on training and education. This kid just has it! Because Christian Bale, by all accounts, is one of the best actors working today, and of course it all had to start somewhere, and if this is where it started, my god, how... How did it take him so long to win an Oscar? The guy is so versatile. I believe the earliest thing that I remember seeing him in was that Treasure Island movie, which I can't remember if it was a theatrical release or if it was like one of those made-for-TV movies, but I do know that he played the young boy in that thing. And then, of course, he goes on to have such an amazing career with the Dark Knight trilogy, uh, with, with Vice, with American Hustle. The guy was in Newsies. He can act, he can sing, he can dance. He's a frickin' triple threat! But it all started with this movie! And it's not like that he appears in the movie periodically. And it's not like he's a scene stealer, like he shows up maybe every once in a while in the movie. No! This whole movie rests on the back of Christian Bale. I don't think there was a single scene of this movie where either he was not performing, or his influence as a character was not felt in the thing. That actor is so talented. And what an interesting concept when it comes to a war movie. When you look up the description of the movie, it says, yes, it's a war film, but it's also a coming-of-age movie. Because when I think war films and internment camps, I think of coming of age. And it is based on a true story, so they had a little source material to pull from. But if there's any reason to see this movie at all, it's for Christian Bale. He was fantastic. The movie itself, I felt, was entertaining, and I thought the story progression was great. But when your main setting is an internment camp, and you're looking at the, the cultures and the statuses that are being created just in this camp alone, it can get bogged down a little bit. Which I felt that this movie had points of. It's watching a lot of people and a lot of characters just starve to death and are scrambling for food and for water and for clean clothes and for soap. And it can get very depressing. So if you're not in the mood for that, I would not recommend popping this thing in. But the cinematography for the movie is great. We have a lot of shots where planes are swooping in very, very close to the ground. And it does a great job of showing the aesthetic of just nothingness. These shacks, this desert-like environment that these characters are thrown into. But this film does a great job of showing how status plays a part in all of our cultures. When the film starts out, this kid, Jamie, he is well off. His family is British, and they're in China, and they are living the high life. They're doing quite well for themselves. But the native people of China there, they're the servants. They're the lower class. And then when things start changing and Japan starts invading China, all of a sudden you see that class be ripped right out from under Jamie's legs. But even when we move from that setting and seeing class being stripped out from under people, when we move to the internment camp, we still see the establishment of class. Some cultures have more privilege in the internment camp than others. Like the Americans, they seem to be getting a lot more crap than the British. And I think that is a characteristic of humans that I don't think we will ever get away from. We like putting a label on ourselves. We like saying that, oh yes, we are a part of this class, or we have this status on society. And actually, as I'm talking about it, this movie does a fantastic job with exploring that. As in the end, Empire of the Sun, it's more of a coming of age film than a war film. If you're going in this because you want to see some historical battles, you're not going to see that. You'll see a couple of dog fights with planes, but other than that, this is a coming of age tale. 
And it's really cool to see this kid who had everything just be taken away from him and have him learn basic survival skills and learn how to take care of himself and how to build himself up as his own person. Christian Bale, even as this young actor, was a tour de force. And the dude had a lovely soprano voice that they played a lot in this movie. I'm not the biggest fan of hearing boy sopranos. So to hear that a lot, it uh, got very annoying. Do you see how annoying that was? I am happy that this movie exists because it did spark that creative intrigue that he had when it comes to World War II, heck, just even war films in general, where we get some amazing pictures that take place during a war. Saving Private Ryan, Schindler's List, Probably would not have happened if it weren't for this movie. I'm gonna give Empire of the Sun three and a half out of five Blu-rays. I am above average. All right, everyone, now comes my favorite part in my videos where I pick which movie I'm gonna be watching next. And the next one comes as a recommendation from one of my subscribers, Micah Hearns. You recommended, this was a while ago, you recommended Man on a Ledge. Is it Man on a Ledge? The Ledge? Whatever, it's that Sam Worthington one that I have only seen once. And I cannot remember a single thing from that movie. <laughs> I remember he was on a ledge. And I remember there was some bank robbery happening, and that's it. But I'm always happy to take recommendations, so thank you very much, Micah, for the recommendation. If any of you have recommendations of films that you want me to review out there, please comment below this video, or go to my Facebook page, my Instagram, or my Twitter, leave your recommendation there, and if I have access to it, I will watch, review it, and give you a shout on the channel. So guys, have you seen Empire of the Sun? What did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before, and you stumbled across it because of this video, please comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And if you like what you saw here, if you like my take on movies, if you like my fine falsetto voice, then hit that subscribe button, it helps us out a lot, and if you have friends, if you have family members that love hearing people talk about movies, send them over my way and have them hit the subscribe button as well. And always, as a reminder, if we hit 1,000 subscribers, I will torture myself by recording my viewing of Arachnophobia, which is a movie that I haven't seen since I was a child because it scarred me half to death. And yes, I meant scarred, not scared. Actually, I kind of meant both. The scared. So guys, I will see you next time with my review of Man on a Ledge. So in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.